discovered himself targeted, attacked, given more gallons, parasites, electrocuted, microwaved, tortured, drugged. So, uh, I've been really sick the last quarter of night. Well, one night, throwing up with a terrible headache and just screaming loud sound inside my head. Notice that from certain angles, my face appears uh, smeared. You know, like a rotational smearing of my genetic uh, code. Or there are times when it feels as though all the bones and structure of my head and face is actually being moved around slightly malleable, malleable and the fact that I have this plasticky skin that you can press into and it stays pressed into like clay for a while and yesterday for the first time in my life I'm 40, uh, 8, 49 now uh, for the first time in my life when I made I made a fist a hard fist uh, and I squeeze and all this liquid from my palms and in between my fingers and my, you know, all this fluid squirted, squished up in between the fingers and uh, it was really quite disturbing actually. I've never experienced that before. At first I was shocked, I didn't know what it was. I'm like, oh my god. And then I look and I'm like, yes, this must be a rheum rheumatic or a rheumatoid sort of uh, inflammation. Uh, sometimes inflammation is the body's defense to uh, try to protect and repair itself, but there are times when inflammation becomes too much and becomes. Uh, infectious or damaging, painful, and it's certainly painful and shocking if you're not used to it. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that, um, <coughs> that was heavy. Um, you know, everything is like this psychological bombardment of other people's emotional physical, physiological, psychological, and spiritual energies that I feel and they interact with mine and I can feel mine are like out of, they're not in sync with everybody else's so there's a, you know, people will be in a full daze like looking at their phones or staring off into space and I'll walk by and they're like, you know, pulled out of it sometimes by my presence. Sometimes I walk by and I, and I feel them like all sort of turning around and like not so much to look at me because whatever, even though I'm scary looking and freaky and all that other stuff, but because there's some pull to it that, that, that you know, some thing that people are feeling. Um, the other day I was walking down the street and, and I'm always looking at things and there was this little marble a glowing spheroid marble on the street. And I said, little Timmy in my mind, oh, let's pick it up. And then I looked out of the corner of my eye, there was a man sitting on this round bicycle thing that's really hard to sit on because it's only this wide. Uh, you know, so you have to balance and he has like one leg over the other uh, and this thing, and he had this little bearded thing, this uh, dark skinned guy and, and and these glasses with mirrors on them and I was certain that this was some kind of wizard like playing a, a, a tension entrapment game with me you know? and it took me a while to reclaim the spheroid object connectivity that was created <clears throat> and uh, anyway what I really wanted to say was that after being so sick a night of this screaming in my head and, and the, the, it makes you feel like oh you know think active denial think you know less than lethal think you know the worst feeling you can possibly have the most painful headache the, the, your 
eyes are all sucked, you know. Last night, I was seeing a grid of, of rainbows, like um, mountain bumps rotating this uh, a fabric, and it was layered over everything I could see, uh, this rainbow rotating. Now, if, you, if you've ever worked on Photoshop or something where you layer one picture over another and it has the opacity or the mix or the level, you know, and you change it, and if you put it at 100%, you can see the one picture. You put it at 50%, you see both pictures. Well, this rainbow thing was at about 7 to 15%, which is pretty high, you know, I think in my vision. I would say that a 50% would be a full-blown hallucination, something that you think is, is there, but it's not, only in light or in your mind or whatever. But this was um, about 17% at the top. I said, looking at it like, wow, covering everything, this fabric of rainbow rotating, you're modulating, uh, I don't know what the shape is called, it's half an ovoid, it's half. Um, I've seen the pictures of nanotechnology things, you know, crystalline, grown in that. Anyway, um, so after being so sick, I've become extremely emotional, like highly sensitive to my own emotional changes and they become amplified because I believe one of the things that happens is that's happening is somehow either the signal that I'm now putting out or emanating from my own energies and the energies that bombard me interacting with the nanotechnology and the synthetic biology which is creating building these things inside of me assembling them whatever and, and so they're able to read this biometric uh, brain and body emanation data and, and understand it, and then they feed it back to me, probably with some tweaks and changes, and it's a loop. They feed it back, looping several times, it feels like, so it's amplified, uh, whether it's internal or external, and then, you know, like that, I don't know. Um, but you can definitely tell sometimes by putting my fingers in my ears and I rap on my head, bap, with my fingers in my ears, bap, bap, bap. And if it just goes bap once, you know, and it's not so much, but I hear it and it goes, brr, 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 like, a, like a snare drum with a reverb on it, you know, a snapback echo, uh, 10, 12 times, brr, brr. And uh, it's obvious that my inputs, or either the inputs themselves, or the parts of the brain that demodulate the inputs, one or the other or both are being read and fed back in a loop so that everything becomes more intense, more, you know, the visual becomes more intense, even though there's nano structures and biology in my eyes that are interfering with the light in a, in a, in a grid pattern or something. Um, there is now being admitted that synthetic biology using a streptomyosis or something uh, has been manipulated genetically to produce biologically quantum dot technology of a certain chemical structure. And um, so basically what that means is this tiny little organism can live inside of something else and make quantum dots or it can be used as a biological factory or however you want to do it. And the other thing I read was that um, a particular kind of, of quantum technology using something, nibidium, rubidium, something or other, with a layer, a thin layer of, of graphene, something over it, um, is able to trap light in a place that's smaller than the wavelength of the light. In other words, restrict the wavelength of light to a smaller space, as in other quantum changes, and um, non-linear photonic effects, like when you see light and it doesn't act the way it always has, since you've seen it, it does things that you don't think it should, you know, um, like an object appearing ten times larger than it should when a certain light is on it, or uh, something appearing blue and then turning it and appearing red and turning it and appearing yellow or turning it and appearing 
as though it doesn't appear. Uh, or turning it this way and it appears twice as big, turning it this way and it appears invisible. These things are nonlinear photonic interactions. And I believe that, that what's happened, one of the things that's happened is all this nano metamaterial that's been I've ingested and had in me and on me, uh, a lot of it has photonic interactions that are not linear, that don't appear as you've always remembered them. And for me, when I see things that change color or get larger or disappear or things like that in, in different light, then I know that there's nanotechnology involved, at least metamaterial, and um, reading up on biological electronics and um, all this the chemical processes and the genetic processes that control those chemical processes and cellular function are being written, you know, like um, if you look up uh, under MIT, there's a, a building block kit that they use for technology and synthetic biology and collected all of the the most functional parts that you could use, like the flagellin or the intercellular mitochondria or you know, all the different pieces that you need to create an organism and um, <clears throat> collected them so that you can create the organism of your choice, sort of like not enough oxygen for the brain, sort of like a Lego building block set for nano scale or for synthetic biology, excuse me. Um, Alright, uh, I'm talking too much. The, the, um, hard, the, the large uh, interactive energetic thing is just sort of put me off. So, thank you for watching and um, God bless us all.